Welcome to another installment of our Flypaper Academy video series. In this video, we're going to go over the new areas functionality of our Sherlock plugin for Navisworks. So with the new areas functionality of our plugin, you have a new area button here within the ribbon. If you click on that, it'll bring you into a plan view of your model. And then you have the ability to create areas uh, within your model. So. Uh, one of the main use cases for this is for if you're doing coordination in phases and you want to include the phase names in your clash groups. So I'm going to draw a couple phases in here. So I'm going to start at this uh, column line W8 and I'm just going to draw a box around that side of the model. And then I have the opportunity to name that area. So I'm going to name it phase one. And then I have the ability to choose uh, the levels in which that area applies to. So if you have different um, areas or phases per level and you have a multi-level model, you are able to kind of define your areas per level in this way. So I'm just gonna choose that it's going to apply to the entire model, as far down as negative infinity and as far as up as positive infinity. So now I have phase one and I can draw in my phase two coordination area. So I will draw that here, phase two, and say lowest bound. All right, so now I have two phases defined in my model. So if you want to include those phase names or those area names within your clash groups, you can edit your distill group name template and you can add, now you have the ability to add this area code to your distill name group template. So I'm gonna add area to my name. So now all of my groups will be named group, number, and then area. Save that. Then I'm just gonna distill one test to show you how it works. So I'm gonna distill this sheet metal versus plumbing test. So now if I go and take a look at the Clash Detective, go into that sheet metal versus plumbing clash test, look at the results here. You can see that I have all of my groups and they are named and numbered um, and they have the um, whichever phase that they fell into. So you can see phase one, phase one, and phase two on that group there. So now you're able to quickly identify the groups that are a part of phase one um, versus the ones that are a part of phase two. Um, and you can use uh, areas to define many different things beyond just phases. So we look forward to seeing what you uh, come up with uh, the use cases for. Thank you.